Hello, and welcome again to Emergency Medicine Topics in One Coffee. I'm Alan Giles, an emergency physician, and today we're going to talk about ankle fracture and dislocation. Now, I know what you're thinking. Of all the topics, why talk about ankle fracture and dislocation? It's pretty easy. Give them analgesia, examine them, uh, put on a back slab, get an x-ray, and speak to the orthopedic team, next patient. Well, the reason I speak to about it is that it is one of those topics that um, is brought up quite often in mortality and morbidity meetings because of poor treatment. So first of all, a little bit of anatomy. So the ankle joint's made up of the talus, the tibia, and the fibula. And that talotibial joint, um, the talus is trapezoidal shaped. So when you have plantar flexion of the ankle, it becomes somewhat unstable. If you supply then a force to it, laterally and cheerily, then you can get fractured dislocation of the talus and tibia. Now just as something on nomenclature, it's the way that the talus moves is how it's described. So if the talus moves posterior, it's a posterior dislocation of the ankle. If it moves anterior, it's an anterior dislocation. It can actually also go superiorly between the tibia and the fibula. Uh, this is unusual, this often occurs either with a motor vehicle accident or a motorbike accident or perhaps if you jumped off a building, which I wouldn't suggest. Now, you can imagine that the force for this can be quite significant. And if your talus is moving, you're likely to get fractures of both the medial and the lateral malleolus. Also, there's a ligament complex laterally and medially, and this is gonna have gross disruption. Okay, so when the patient comes in with such a fractured dislocation, what do we do? Well, you can see from what I've put up here a couple of times that there's a number of x-rays showing you know, the talus moving anteriorly or posteriorly or whichever other direction. But most of the time, we really shouldn't be getting that x-ray because some of those patients are going to have vascular compromise to the foot. That is, when you examine, they'll have decreased uh, perfusion, a decreased capillary return or slow capillary return. They'll have a door part, dorsalis pedis, that's a decrease in volume, uh, and it might be cooler on the other side. This patient needs to have this foot relocated in the emergency department. Also, it may be that the skin is tight over that area that's being rotated. That needs to get back in the emergency department before an x-ray. So, how do you approach poking back such a thing? Well, it's actually relatively simple. Just about every emergency department should be able to do, well, I think every emergency department, full stop, should be able to do conscious and deep sedation safely. Um, high flow nasal oxygen and using a combination of ketamine or ketamine and propofol, ketofol, is the sort of treatment that we should give, the sort of analgesia that should be given before reduction is done. Now, and if it's me, I actually don't want my ankle dislocated and fractured and sent off to x-ray when I could have it relocated and then had a back slab put onto it. Now, some people still say, well, the orthopedic surgeon will want to look at the x-ray. In reality, if you take a photograph before and afterwards, they're gonna be more than happy to have a look at that. Okay, in terms of practically putting the, the um, dislocated ankle back into position, it is quite simple. One person holds proximally, and the other person holds distally over the ankle and supplies traction. And the talus will go home to its, to its place at the talotibial um, joint. You can usually feel that talus clonking back in, even with the surrounding fractures. You'll often observe an improvement to the perfusion. And once you've done that, you should have organized already a back slab including surrounding medial and lateral stirrup to apply support to it. Once that back slide is applied, make sure you do ongoing neurovascular observations. And now, have a chat to your friendly orthopaedic surgeon because this patient will have to go to the, ortho to the operating theatre to have some metal inserted to stabilise this ankle. Okay, I think that'll just about do it for fracture dislocations of the ankle in one coffee. Cheers.